let's go back up to the top of Reunion Tower. That is where we have our chief meteorologist, Rick Mitchell, stationed for this celestial showstopper. How's it going up there, Rick? No, it's it's like an emotional roller coaster, guys. We all we see the we see the sun peek out, and we're happy, and we know that it's going to go back in the clouds. But I, I've I've looked at uh, some of our satellite uh, sites that I go to that show the satellite view, and it does show that the the low clouds are are thinning a bit, especially to our south. So given that we still have more than two hours to go, I'm cautiously optimistic that we will see some some sunshine. I'm hoping, but as you can see, uh, as we look out over downtown Dallas, it's still pretty murky. Uh, the humidity has increased considerably, so there's a certain amount of haze in the air just because uh, the, uh, the atmosphere is very humid. But if we could get those clouds to go away, I don't think that haze is going to cause us any problems. Uh, one thing I wanted to address, I got an email from someone uh, uh, yesterday that said, hey, I haven't seen the moon where is it? Well, the moon is in a phase called the new moon, all right? And you can't see a new moon. That's one of the reasons why this eclipse is possible because it has to be in that new moon phase. And that's why you wouldn't see it moving across the sky because it's in the new moon phase. Think of it, it's, it's kind of invisible to us. So we will certainly experience uh, the shadow that it creates. And there, there we go little sun. Can I see my shadow? Hello, shadow. See? Emotional roller coaster. Sun peeks out. Now it's gone again. This is going to be an exhausting two hours emotionally. But uh, we hold out hope that these clouds will thin a little bit more. No promises, no guarantees. Hopefully it's, no, uh, it's not just wishful thinking. But from the meteorological standpoint, there is the potential we could uh, end up seeing thinner clouds. And keep in mind, the high humidity that you feel will lead to thunderstorms later today. Let's not lose sight that we could have a fairly active severe weather pattern coming up, but that will be after the eclipse. Uh, Brian, Deborah, holding out hope, fingers and toes crossed at this point.